we're getting into springtime, which means a whole new season for road work. And we're looking at a three month closure for drivers down around Joint Base Lewis and McCord. It's a part of the Silicon DuPont Thorn Lane Construction Improvement Project. Let's hit the road. We'll show you what the project entails. It's springtime and I'm talking to Kara Mitchell from DOT down in the South Sound and springtime means road work projects. Road work projects mean closures and we've got a three month closure just ahead of us. Kara, tell us about what's happening around Joint Base Lewis McCord and why we're losing the Thorn Lane Southbound 5 ramp. Right. Well, this is the big final closure on this project that's going to lead us into final configuration um, for this amazing project that has widened I-5 uh, and rebuilt the Berkeley Street and Thorn Lane interchanges. Right. Drivers are going to see some lane closures and some temporary ramp closures to Berkeley uh, while crews restripe and shift the lanes. And then once that traffic shift is in place, the official uh, Thorn Lane on-ramp that crosses the railroad from the Tillicum uh, neighborhood side of the highway to southbound I-5 will officially close. Okay. That ramp will never be open again from that side of the highway ever, ever, ever again. So. What's, Brett, why is this closure there? I mean, is this because we're widening out everything? Is that why? We're widening out and they have to, it's, it's a work zone situation where they need to get in there to be able to finish building the collector distributor lane. That's a joint exit for both Berkeley Street and Thorn Lane. It's barrier separated from main line. So they got to get in there and be able to finish building that barrier, getting the roadway foundation put down. Um, and they will also finalize the official new Thorn Lane on-ramp from the east side of the highway that will come off of that shorter um, overpass because Thorn Lane was rebuilt with two overpasses, a, ver a very large one, a high one, and then a shorter one that's specifically just for southbound traffic, uh, southbound I-5 traffic exiting to Thorn Lane, and then Thorn Lane and Murray Road drivers going to southbound I-5. That's all that that shorter overpass is for. So they will finish that um, on-ramp connection uh, that'll lead eventually down to southbound I-5. When we get into final configuration, that joint exit is going to be marked differently. It will no longer be exit 123 to Thorn Lane. Okay. It's 122A and 122B. I don't want to say it's back, but we, we have definitely seen the uptick and, and the uh, commute both around Joint Base Lewis and McCord and heading out down and further south. So Absolutely. And we do see it, you know, during off peak hours it's not as bad but it's it's definitely getting back up to where it was before uh during commute hours for sure